Hello guys, in this video, we are going to go through the chemistry Amali paper for SPM 2025, which is for tomorrow, okay? So guys, when you got your paper, this is the first thing you need to do. Check first and see whether the question that you got is the same as what we discussed today. So we are going to discuss heat of displacement for today, okay? And there are two questions in this set of paper. I will be going through the first uh, soalan here, and then you have to go through the second soalan yourself. The difference between question one and question two is, question one, you have been given unknown powder X and Y, A and B maybe, but the other set is, they already told you that the metal powder is zinc and magnesium. So this is the first thing. When you got your paper, make sure this experiment is about heat of displacement. How can you tell that this experiment is heat of displacement? There will be thermometer. There will be two powders. Okay, two different types of powder and one copper two sulfate solution. All right. And then don't forget to read the question. They will always tell you in the question. For example, you have to carry out an experiment to compare the heat of displacement of copper. Yeah, so now I'm sure this experiment is about heat of displacement of copper. Okay, then this is the first thing. Procedure. Procedure. During the procedure, I will tell you things that you have to uh, take note when you're doing the experiment. Number one, measure the copper two sulfate solution and put it into a container. The container can be a beaker, can be a plastic cup, can be a polystyrene cup. It depends on what you got tomorrow. Okay, if it's a beaker, then beaker. So pour the solution into the beaker first. Okay, and then what you have to do next is you have to insert a thermometer into the solution and leave aside for two minutes. So you have to put thermometer into your solution. Okay, and then we wait for two minutes. So I think this is a reason why they give you a stopwatch. And then, uh, guys, this is what I want to say. Before you do the experiment, you have to actually kind of test the thermometer and see whether it's, it is working or not. Because some of the th thermometer, uh, you have to check the mercury. Maybe there are some like air bubble in the middle. Please don't use this kind of thermometer. You just check, check the whole thing. See got air bubble, there's gap in between them or not. Make sure there's no gap in between. Okay, it is uh, something like this. You can see the mercury, there's no gap between them. Then you can test it, how to test. Just use your finger to touch the bulb. And then you should be able to see the temperature going up. Okay, very obvious one. When you touch it, the temperature will just go out uh, like that. Okay, if you can't see like temperature going up, you can try to like uh, rub your finger a bit, make it uh, a bit warm then you touch it and see whether it goes up or not if you try already wow it doesn't go up, goes up then ask your teacher to replace it okay ask your teacher to replace a new one for you all right okay now thermometer is okay already everything everything is okay everything works just put the thermometer into the solution and then start your stopwatch two minutes okay what i will do is i will i will be holding my thermometer okay like this holding the thermometer like this you can stir the solution a bit Okay, because it takes time for the solution to like kind of settle down to achieve the thermal equilibrium. Stir a bit. Okay, wait for two minutes. Okay, look at the initial temperature. Okay, after two minutes, I got it ready. Then I record it down. Let's say I got 26 degrees Celsius. Okay, right, 26.0. Must write 0, 0.0, I guess. Okay, write 0, 0.0. And then there's no unit. I, I, I'm not writing any unit here. It's because the unit is already given. They gave me the unit already, so don't have to write. After two minutes later, hey, by the way, when you are writing your reading here, uh, make sure the thermometer is still inside the cup. Uh. Just leave it inside the cup like that. Don't take it out and put it on the table. No, just put it inside. Okay, go prepare your powder. Okay, most likely it will be in a packet. Okay, one gram in the packet. So get ready. Before you pour the powder in, I would say it's better to take the thermometer out okay, for a few seconds. Pour the powder in quickly. 
Remember, pour the solution, eh, pour the solution, blah, pour the powder into the solution. Don't make the powder until everything sticks on the sides of the, the wall of the beaker. No, try to accurate a bit, lah, guys. Pour it into the solution, then quickly put the thermometer in and start stirring the mixture. Okay, you don't have to stir quickly and you cannot stir quickly. Just stir slowly. Round by, okay, one round by one round. Okay, like they stir, stir, stir slowly. When you're stirring it, it's okay to touch the bottom of the container. Okay, just stir it, stir it. Okay, stir a bit already. Look at the temperature. For the first minute, the temperature should go up very fast. Okay, let's say we started from 26, right? Maybe uh, 30 seconds later, 30 seconds later, it went up to like uh, 27.5. Okay. And then 30 seconds later, uh, it went up to uh, 28.5. Okay. And then maybe one and a half minute later, it went up to 29. Okay. Maybe uh, it will slow down here, 29. Okay. After a while already, uh, maybe uh, 29, it's still 29. Then suddenly it, it's going up again to 9.5. And in the end, it went up to a uh, 30 maybe. It takes time, but the experiment, the reaction should be done within five minutes. Okay, after you have reached the highest temperature, uh, usually it will stay at that temperature for like a few minutes. Okay, so you just check like every 30 seconds, you just check the thermometer. Okay, maybe after 30 already, it, it just stays here. 30, 30, 30, 30. For like two minutes already, uh, then you can you can stop already. Okay, there's I mean you don't have to wait like for 10 minutes, 20 minutes until you see the temperature start going down. No need. Okay, so just like that, record. Ah minus it off. 30 minus 6, you get 4 degrees Celsius. Okay, then you repeat your experiment again. Okay, guys, make sure we do the experiment set by set. This one done already, then only you repeat the second set. Because some students, uh, they measure the temperature of the first solution, and then they straight away right here also 26. No, guys, finish this experiment first, then only you restart everything all over again. Put thermometer into the M, uh, the Kosong solution, and then wait for two minutes. Okay, maybe this time. Uh, it went up to like, 26.5, okay? It can be different initial temperature. Then you do the same thing. Maybe this time you are getting a 32.5, okay? An increase of six degrees Celsius. And these two values should be different, by the way. It should be different. If you happen to get same value, uh, GG. They are not supposed to be the same. All right, okay. Okay, then the rest will be like some theory questions. Even if your data is not accurate, it's okay. Don't set, no need to cry. Just do other theories properly. Normally, uh, when you got like false result, you will only lose like three marks. Not a lot one. Don't worry. You still can get top of 50. Make sure you can do the theory question correctly. Like for example, observation. Observation, please remember. I know a lot of students, they like to write a uh, color change of the solution, but please don't. In this experiment, if you can, please go for reading of thermometer increases. Reading of thermometer increases or thermometer reading increases. Unless the question state that you cannot write this answer. If they don't allow you to use this answer, write an observation except for temperature change, and then only you go for color change. Try not to write blue to colorless. Try to write answer which is blue solution becomes paler. Blue solution becomes paler or intensity of blue solution decreases. Best. So the star, top one, Answer for observation, thermometer reading increases, must pair with this inference, which is explaining why temperature is going up. Temperature will go up because the reaction is exothermic. Or you can say that, oh, because heat energy is released to the surrounding. 
got hit release. That's why uh, the thermometer reading will increase. You don't have to memorize so many answers. For me, I always go for this one. Thermometer reading increases, and then the reaction is exothermic. If you are writing this answer, if you are being forced to write this answer, why the color becomes paler? Oh, because the concentration of copper to ion decreases. That's why the color becomes lighter. All right, just like that. Now, the variables. Variables are also fixed. Types of metal powder. We are using different types of metal powder. Heat of displacement, guys. Responding variable. Some of the students, they, write, they like to write answer like, uh, what uh, uh, can I write highest temperature of the mixture? Can I write a temperature change of the solution? Okay, guys, please don't. This is the best answer already. Heat of displacement is already the best answer you can write. Okay, confirm correct. If you want to write highest temperature of the solution, you make sure you have to do it correctly. But I'm, I don't encourage you to do that. Okay, because sometimes you might write the wrong answer like uh, highest temperature of solution. But the answer is supposed to be highest temperature of the mixture. Ah, then you will lose your mark. So go for heat of displacement. Easy, very easy. And confirm correct. If you think the answer is too short, then write longer. Heat of displacement of copper from copper to sulfate solution. Which is you can something you can get from the question. Heat of displacement of copper from copper to sulfate solution. If you want longer answer. Otherwise, just write this trick. For fixed variable, for fixed variable, uh, go for volume and concentration. Must have these two together. Volume and concentration of the copper to sulfate solution. Okay, done. As for hypothesis, if they want you to state the hypothesis for this experiment, this like specific experiment, oh, then we have to, we have to do a comparison. The heat of this of copper by metal powder white. For my case, metal powder white is higher than the heat of displacement of copper by metal powder X. And then here we have another answer. This is like a general, general hypothesis for heat of displacement. The higher the electropositivity of metal powder, the higher the heat of displacement of copper. So that means you use a more electropositive metal powder to displace or to have reaction with the solution, you get a higher heat of displacement. Both are acceptable. Okay. Operational definition. Operational definition operational definition operational definition is a statement to tell others what you do and then what you see what you do is usually writing a sentence to tell them what are the chemicals you are mixing them together in this reaction i'm mixing the metal powder with the solution right and then what you see is observation so let's see this is my answer but well, two answer are if they say operational def definition of the heat of displacement i think you can write this one when a more electro positive metal powder is added into the solution thermometer reading increases can you see this is what I did. I add powder into solution and they are more electron positive. I get thermometer reading increase. Or I can say when metal powder X or so-called the zinc powder is added into copper to surface solution, thermometer reading increases. This is based on the experiment. If they want you to write operational definition for this experiment, this current experiment, specific experiment, then you have to use whatever substance uh, they mentioned in the experiment. If they say zinc powder, then you write zinc powder. If they say metal powder X, metal powder X. Okay, ah, uh, just like that. Analysis. Analysis 
hear a uh, temperature change. They want you to like analyze the result, compare why the temperature change is different. So let's make a comparison. For my result, set two uh, is higher than set one. Why? Because the metal powder Y is more electro positive than metal powder X. Must be the word electro positive. You can't write the word reactive or like what E naught value cannot. Must be electro positive. No reactive, no E naught value. Here we have some prediction question. So maybe they will ask you. If the metal powder used in this experiment is magnesium and zinc, identify I got something wrong. Like for metal powder X and Y. The one with lower theta will be zinc, higher theta, magnesium. They may ask you to predict other things. Predict the heat of displacement of copper. If lead powder is used, you have to know that. PB is actually lower than magnesium and zinc. So I will be getting a heat of displacement that is lower than magnesium and zinc. Okay? Uh, you don't have to write a value here. Your teacher might uh, say this before, like, hey, prediction, you all must write a value. For this case, there's no way we can predict a value. How much? Like, you write 20? By the way, heat of displacement is the... the, the Negative kilojoule per mole. How much? Negative 100? Negative 50? You don't know. Okay, unless they ask you to calculate already. After your, you did your calculation, you get like a negative 210. This one, you get a negative 168. And then maybe this one, you can predict negative 100. Yeah, you can. If you have data earlier on, then you can predict and write a number. Otherwise, don't. Just write lower. Sorry. Okay, then here you can see predict the temperature change. Temperature change. Temperature change is the theta. Temperature change is the theta. We already have this result in front. Okay, if I use that powder, you can see magnesium, six degrees Celsius, zinc, four degrees Celsius, then lead, which is lower, lead, lead lower than four, must be lower than four. Mm -hmm. So you can either say lower than four. You have a reference now. So you can mention the number. You can mention a value. Or you can even predict like, okay, oh, I think it's going to be two. Yes, you can. So only whenever there's a, a number for you to do reference, then you can mention the value. Otherwise, just say lower, higher, or say. Predict the temperature change of the mixture. Uh, if, let, okay, if copper to nitrate solution is used to replace copper to sulfate solution. My answer will be the same. Don't say no change, guys. No change means there's no reaction. If you think using copper to nitrate solution is going to get you same result, then you say same. Okay, same. No change means no reaction. No reaction means uh, if they are using silver, if they are using silver to displace copper, ah, then no reaction. Why? Because silver is less electropositive than copper. Okay. Uh, finally, there's like some calculation here. Make sure when you are doing uh, each of the steps, you tell them what you are doing. Uh, you're calculating heat change and right heat change before you do the working. Calculating mole, mole of which substance. Mention it. Uh, then heat of displacement. And lastly, they may ask you what to do to improve the result of this experiment. Since you'll be given because, then you can say, oh, we, we use polystyrene cup with lead to replace the beaker. Why? Because it's a good heat insulator that can uh, reduce heat loss to the surrounding. Just like that. Okay. Bye-bye.